Hey guys, it's Bellamy here from Midnight Suns. I just got back from the grand premiere of the new Singaporean film, King of Hawkers. And yeah, this is just my quick review of the movie. So this movie tells the story of a divorced ex-wife from a rich family in Hong Kong. And so she returns to her homeland of Singapore after getting divorced from her rich husband. And then she starts to run a hawker store, which is actually originally owned by her biological parents. So she's kind of taking over the family business. And then she enters this big hawker competition to prove herself. And for those of you who are overseas and you don't know, hawker centers are basically a huge part of Singapore's food culture. And yeah, we pretty much have hawker centers all over the country. And if you don't know what a hawker center is, basically it is like this gigantic food courts that people go to to get food that is both cheap and good. And yeah, it's always been a huge part of Singapore's national identity and this movie really celebrates the whole hawker culture here in Singapore. So talking about the acting performances in this movie, I thought they were all pretty good and the story and drama was alright. But I will say there is a villain plot twist towards the end of the movie that felt a little out of place. Like I'm telling you, this is not an exaggeration, but when this character literally reveals his evil plan at the end, he starts laughing like a Saturday morning cartoon villain. <laughs> And that was actually pretty funny even though I know it probably wasn't meant to be funny because it was a pretty serious scene. And that whole villain plot twist doesn't really get wrapped up at the end of the movie. Like I was waiting for a resolution to that whole subplot but it feels like the movie just ends without really addressing it and I did find that to be quite odd. But yeah, apart from that, I think the story and all the acting performances in this movie were really well done and there is a lot of light-hearted Singaporean style of humour in this movie. But really, I think the best part of the movie is easily the amazing food cinematography. Like, I can't remember the last time I watched a movie that had so many just epic great shots of food. And it really made all the local hawker food that was featured in the movie look really really mouth-watering and delicious and like 5-star food. So yeah, if you are someone who's really interested in Singapore hawker food at all, I think you're gonna really enjoy this movie just for how amazingly the food is portrayed in the movie. Anyway, let me now give my final score for the film and I'm giving this movie, King of Hawkers, a 7 out of 10. I think it was a pretty good Chinese New Year movie that celebrates local hawker culture here in Singapore and I actually do wish they released it like before Chinese New Year so that more people will have the chance to watch this during Chinese New Year because it is a really good Chinese New Year movie. And yeah, I really quite enjoyed it overall. And that's all for this review guys. If you're interested in movie reviews at all, I review all kinds of movies on this channel. Singaporean movies, international movies, Hollywood movies, yeah, all kinds of movies. Yeah. So if you're interested in any of that, do consider subscribing. Thanks again for watching and as always, stay gold. Bye guys. Thank you.